Welcome back to Get Google Ready for 2024, which is the playlist where I take you through not only how to set up all of the different Google Ads campaigns that you'll need in 2024, but also also show you how to optimize them so that you can get the best results for your business. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through the correct way to optimize your search campaigns. Now, when it comes to optimizing your search campaigns, we can boil it down to four key areas or levers as I like to call them that you can adjust in order to improve the performance of your campaign. And this comes around firstly around your keyword targeting. And what that involves is reviewing and optimizing the different keywords that users are using that cause your ads to trigger. The second main way that we can optimize your search campaign is by improving your ads. And what we're looking at doing here is running different ads, split tests, so that we can increase the click-through ratio and the conversion rates of your ads. So what we're doing there is we're really looking to focus to get more clicks on your ads and then not just get those clicks, also set them up in the right way so that we're helping to increase the number of conversions that our campaigns are receiving. And then thirdly, we can review and optimize how Google is spending our budget. And what we'll be talking about here is we're talking about the different segmentation and campaign and ad group structures that you're using in your Google Ads account between your search campaigns. And then finally, we can review and optimize our bidding targets. And this is when we use any automated bidding targets like maximize conversions with a target cost per conversion or maximize conversion value with a target ROAS. Now, because in this playlist, in a couple of weeks time, I will be releasing a whole video around about bidding strategies in Google Ads and how to use them for the best ways in 2024. In this video, I'm just gonna be taking you through those first three actions. And what I'm also gonna be using as a reference is my Google Ads optimization checklist, which has only just recently been updated. And if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist so that you can use it for your own business or your own Google Ads accounts, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. And this is a checklist which I've put together and it not only lets you know all of the individual actions that you need to complete to optimize your Google Ads campaigns, it also lets you know how often you need to complete those actions. And that is a very, very important step that you do need to get right. So right now, let's jump into a screen share so I can take you through how to correctly optimize your Google search campaigns for the best results in 2024. Let's go. So this is the Google Ads optimization checklist and this one has been updated to include search, performance max and display. But obviously for this video, we're just gonna be focusing on the search campaign aspects. And the first part we're gonna be going through is where you need to review your insights tab. And what we're doing here is we're especially gonna be going through these first two tasks of adding in extra negative keywords and also adding in any converting search terms or search terms you wanna target as exact match keywords. So when you're in your Google Ads campaign, let's just go through and choose another date range firstly. Usually I do this in seven day segments because I do complete this action every week. And for a new campaign, I do recommend that you do this every two to three times a week. But so what we're gonna do through here is I'm just gonna go in through to the insights and reports. And if you're using the new dashboard, just make sure that you have actually selected. So we've got a search and a performance max campaign. We're gonna be using this search campaign only. So what we wanna do is we then go into insights and reports and then go into search terms. And what you're doing through here is I also go through and increase the number of rows. We're doing two things in here. What we're going through is we're going through and firstly looking at are there any search terms which are not relevant that we wanna stop our ads appearing for? And the way that you do that, now we've got another campaign which is a competitor campaign. So what we're doing is we're just going through, I'll add some of these and then what we do is we add them as a negative keyword. And then what you wanna do from there is that you then wanna go down and you wanna filter this down by conversions. And what we're looking at here is are there any converting search terms that we want to, or so include in our keywords. And what I'm gonna do in here is I'm also gonna include Gym Management Software Australia because that's highly targeted for us. And what we would do is we'd then go through and add that as a keyword. Now we're not going into the actual keywords that we're currently targeting. We're going into the insights and reports and we're looking at the search terms. So the difference between the search keywords, they're the keywords that we're actually using, whereas the search terms are the actual search terms that users are using that are triggering our ads. So what we're wanting to do there 
step firstly is to add in any negative keywords so that we can stop our ads appearing for search terms which are not relevant. And then the second thing we wanna do is look to see if there's any more new keyword themes that we can add into our ad groups. The second thing we wanna do is we wanna go through and review our ads. Now, what I'm gonna do through here is I'm gonna increase the date range because I wanna show you what can happen if you continue to go through some split testing. So I'm gonna go through, we're looking at over 12 months of data here and I'm just gonna also put enabled and paused and we're just gonna go into one ad group. Now, what I wanna show you in through here is with our cost per conversion is you can see that we started with a cost per conversion at $41 and we've been able to get that down to 31 or $30. So that's the process that we've used to be able to improve the performance of the campaign. And what we wanna be doing here is the process you wanna be following here, you wanna be running only two ads at a time. So let me just go through the last 30 days. We're just gonna go the enabled ads. So what I've got here is I've got two ads. They've both had over about 500 impressions. And what I'm looking at through here is I'm looking to see what is the differences in performance? Now I'll just drag this across so we can see a little bit through here. So you can see after they've both received 500 impressions, we've got this ad here, which is performing better. It's got a better click-through ratio. So it's outperforming by just under 2%. But the biggest thing you're seeing in through here is it's got a much better cost per conversion. The conversion rate of 7% versus conversion rate of 2%. So what we wanna do through here now is we wanna pause this top ad. And then from there, we wanna create a copy of the second ad. And we wanna just make sure that there's one main difference. Now, the reason for why we don't edit this top ad, because we edit that top top ad, Google will take this data into it by creating a whole new ad. It's doing two things. One, it's allowing a cleaner test, but also more importantly, you saw when we looked at all of those 12 months of different ads, I can go through and I know the different tests that we have run because that saves us from running a same test again in the future. So what I would do here is select this, we would go copy, and then we paste that ad into the same ad group. Now, the one thing you do need to do is you make sure that if this ad already exists, create a duplicate, press paste. And now what we've got here is we've got two ads which are exactly the the same. So what we want to do is go up into this top ad, which is the new ad, and we want to make one difference. And once again, this comes down to is that we want to just make sure that when we're making the differences that we know what the difference is between the two different ads. So you can see through here, we've got a dynamic headline pinned into position one. So what I want to do through here is that we want to do a test. Let's just look to see with this call to action from just $54 a month, what happens if we pin that into position two. So between these two ads now, the only difference is, is that this this second ad has the call to action pinned into position two, whereas that first ad doesn't have it. So exactly the same, except we're just doing a forced test. So when it comes to testing your ad copy, just do two ads at a time. And then what you wanna do is you don't wanna edit the ad, you wanna pause the ad, then create a new ad so that you can go back and also see all of the different tests that you've run. So if we go back through here, you can see all of the different ad tests that we've been running in this ad group, which has seen us dramatically improve the cost per conversion. Now, the last task, that we wanna be going through that I'm gonna be showing you through today is going through and doing a better segmentation or budget allocation of your keyword themes. Now, the reason for why you wanna do this, so you can see with this one, we've got three different campaigns running. Now, one of these campaigns is targeting a different area, but these top two campaigns are targeting similar services, but there was some keyword differences in it. So let me just go over to the ad group. And what I wanna show you is that one campaign has this ad group in it, and the other campaign has these top three ad groups in it. Now, the reason why we split it out was for this is that you can see this ad group in here it has a lot lower cost per click these other three ad groups which are in the other campaign have you know sometimes two and three times the amount of the cost per click but what we can see through here as well is that when we look at the cost per conversion the cost per conversion on this one is a lot lower but the conversion value for these top three are a lot higher so we started all of these in the same campaign the reason why we broke this one out is because it is a cheaper service and it also had cheaper traffic so by separating it out into its own campaign, we were able to really better control the spending. What that then allowed us to do for these top three ad groups is that we're about to introduce some different bidding targets, but it also allows us to really break it out and really work with this business and go, look, we're gonna be spending more cost per click for these ad groups or these keyword themes, but we're happy to do that because we've broken it out and we 
with this other service, which is this one in here. Yes, it has cheaper traffic, but the conversion values aren't as high. So it allows us to make the whole campaign a lot more profitable because remember your budgets are set at the campaign level. So we can scale these at different levels dependent on their cost per click. So when it comes to this task of going through better segmentation, once again, what you're wanting to do is you're asking the question, do you need to add in extra campaigns to better target your different product categories? And we're looking at traffic volume and conversion metrics. So that's the process that you can use to optimize your search campaigns in 2024. And remember, if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist so that you never miss out on any of those important optimization actions for your search campaigns, just follow that link in the description below. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. And remember, if you wanna stay up to date and know every time I release a new video in my Get Google Ready for 2024 playlist, make sure that you've not only subscribed, but you've also turned on that notification bell. Thank you again. And if you wanna go through and watch the rest of the videos that are currently live in this playlist, all you need to do is to go through and watch this playlist right here. Thank you again. See you next time.